gonna get into the inventory so we can pick it up and carry it and interact with it and all that kind of stuff so first things first we're gonna create the hud so uh, go to the game core and if you don't have it uh, create a widget folder and let's create user widget called uh, widget blueprint hud duplicate that by ctrl d this will be video blueprint slot that's basically it. so if you join my discord there should be a channel where i put some assets on so you can go and download the assets and all that kind of stuff so i imported the action bar empty for our slots so let's go into our slots first let's have a canvas panel so drag that in let's have a button and let's have an image just remember the button should be on top of the image so the anchor should be left alone the y size should be 80 the x size 80 as well of course you can make it smaller you can make it bigger it's up to you this will be our slot now go to image put the action bar for the button and for the image so it looks like this right? looks really cool click on the button the first normal there should be a, there is draw as right put it as image so that there isn't any borders and any complications now that's basically it for that uh let's go into our hud let's have a canvas panel and let's have a horizontal box plug that in and this will be right there right uh, bottom middle uh reset all the positions the alignment 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 so it's like dead center so it's dead center as you can see size to content put the position y at minus 69 i think and that's basically it so now click on the horizontal box search for widget blueprint slot drag that in uh it should be inside the horizontal box and now you can actually choose how many slots you want i will have five so five slots and select everything and add padding of three just like that so it has a little bit of padding you can see the space now so that's it now let's go into the graph now the complication complicated stuff will happen we're gonna have a custom event called selected slot this will have an input of slot number and of course it's an integer now from the int we're gonna do a um, switch on it so basically that means for example if we select the first slot it's going to select the first integer so let's add five slots of course you have to count the zero as well because it's a number i guess right click on the default delete that because we don't really need that now uh as you can see we don't really have any variables so we have to go back to the slots select the image is variable the button is variable and rename that to button and the image to image so there's no numbers so now going back to the hud so for each slot is variable so select basically everything by just click on the first one uh, hold shift and click on the last one is variable so it should everyone everything should be a variable now as you can see now select the first slot get button we're gonna get the button then set style so the first one will be the item style so so be item style so basically whenever you pick it up it's going to have a basic style so let's promote this into item style i don't really know why we need this but I tested it out and when you unhook this it kind of breaks uh so compile and the style should be once again put the image on and that's basically just put the image on draw as image yep okay now for each one we have to do the same so copy plug it in get the second slot plug that in yeah just just for just for each slot you know just plug it in the third one copy paste oh no wait what oh shit i missed something this should be the first one sorry so you may ask why we are doing everything separate 
because we actually cannot really combine it because every shot is kind of separate it's it's not like bam generated so now after this one we're gonna set default style so this is basically what it says the default so and later we're gonna do uh, select so later we're gonna do pickup style slash select so once again get the style get style this middle one will be a little bit uh, kind of like weird you could say so it's basically the same style as the item style so just promote it into a variable called default style so it will once again have this image now now the complicated stuff will happen so let's uh, have a lot of them so so the first button will not go into the first slot the first button will go into the second one you may ask well why is that well, why is i gonna do it because listen child when you select this uh, zero one right it's going to do this default uh this style this pickup style so it's gonna go through this one go through this one and through this one we are not doing this one because because there's only one reason because it's not gonna update the rest of the slots for example if we just gonna do like oh we're just gonna do it like this right just like this right it's only gonna update this uh this line but we want everything to update so this slot will go into the second one into this one into that one and that one so it's not gonna go into this uh his line basically so he's gonna avoid his own line or his own house or whatever so for the second one it's gonna go into the first one not gonna go into the second one it's gonna skip the second one and go into the rest of it for the third one it's the same thing it's gonna go into the first second skip the third one aka his own and go into the rest of it the fourth one the same thing is gonna skip his own uh set style and the final one just like that so just to make sure everything is plugged in you can just hover it and see and as you can see i haven't oh no i did never mind everything's fine and for the last one it's quite easy so uh this one just promote that into a variable this will be selected uh, selected style compile uh and this one will be once again with the image except no it's not gonna be with the image i think so no it's not gonna be with the image sorry that was my bad so i'm gonna be with the image it's going to be just the color uh gray so it's gonna be a little bit grayish so it's like a hover style so when you hover it and just plug it in to the first one this this should be easy just second one to the second one right here it shouldn't really change so just plug everything inside this 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 is the hardest part of this basically so yeah it's kind of fucked up but you're gonna get used to it so now we're gonna do a custom event called slot icon once again it's going to have an int called selected slot and another one called texture and this one will be texture 2 d texture there should be texture 2 d right there now once again switch on int let's have all of our slots delete the default one now the first one now we need the image this will be set brush from texture plug it in once again just copy paste everything so that should be five i think if my math is mathing so what you can do is just uh just drag out the first one and replace it so there, there's an option to replace as well so you can just replace it bam textures will go into the textures so just plug that in so as the execute pins so this will basically set your item image 
so you can see how it looks and stuff and that's basically it so the hard part is over go back to ac interaction system let's create some variables the first one will be inventory item info if i'm correct yep and this will be array so this will be our inventory in total so what we will do is add as uh, add five indexes right and you may ask oh why five indexes because we have five slots so just remember if you have like no that's too many indexes but we need four sorry four indexes counting the zero as well so five so if you have more slots or less then you have to add a reasonable amount of indexes so basically we're just gonna replace all of this information with something new so it's really simple so yeah that's basically that now let's go to the main player at begin play we're gonna create a widget this will be the hud so hud promote this into a variable called widget blueprint uh hud i already have that so i don't know why i have that Widget blueprint hud us just plug everything in add to viewport and now if we actually play you can see we have a nice little hud we cannot really scroll so now we need an input so let's create an input of mouse wheel up and another one called mouse wheel down go to the defaults so just uh, find mouse wheel up and for the mouse wheel down mouse wheel down now go to main player and i think we did yeah right here we have the input comment so right below it let's do mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down uh, no this one just like that so now we just have to create the functions so let's start with the mouse wheel up so f mouse wheel up and f mouse wheel down so for the up one we're gonna have some variables like selected slot and max slot so these will be integers uh selected uh, and of course singles it's not gonna be an array so for the max slot our max slot is four selected zero so if the selector slot equals to the max slot so our branch if it's true we're gonna take the selector slot and make it zero we're gonna create a function called create widget go to your main player and copy this uh these three nodes to so the create widget blueprint hud set it and the viewport so just take it plug it right there in the function create the variable so it should look like this uh. so now we can delete these three nodes in the main player from the interaction system get or create widget so if i'm correct it should yeah you can see it should do the same thing so so let's create the hud let's get the hud sorry and let's do selected slot select the slot will be this one and for the false is going to take the selected slot increment select the slot and bam or uh the target should be high. so it should look like this for the mouse wheel down though we're going to have a branch once again select the slot does it equal to zero and let's take the selector slot and put it to the max slot so it looks like this get the widget selected slot plug that in and this will be selected slot decrement when it's false once again do it like this so basically what it does for the mouse wheel up is going to check if the selected slot equals to the max slot if it does it's going to reset everything and go back to the zero and this function here uh, is this this big one by the way and if it doesn't it's just gonna add a slot so basically how it works if you go to main player and get the this one mouse up and it starts mouse down 
right here as well so if we play oh you cannot really see it wait let's go back to the hud go to selected style and let's make the norm a little bit darker so let's make it like this if we play you can see now 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 you can see we are actually uh going through our inventory so that's pretty cool so let's just make it a little bit little bit brighter so you can see we are going through our slots so we're going to full screen it's a little bit hard to see it's up to you you can make it a little bit darker but we are going through our slots one last thing that we are going to do go to event graph event graph let's do a custom event called uh interaction and let's put the f interaction in here log this actor into this go into interaction after interaction right here where we are setting the information we're gonna have a function called f add add item to inventory and if you remember we created this inventory array when i get the reference Put the selected slot right and break it now we get all this information right and if you remember we set the item class if you haven't set it to your item go to interaction go to item jerry can and there should be item class so set it to self so vp jerry now we're gonna do is valid from item class so basically it's going to check if there is an item in our slot so if it's true we're gonna do print item is in slot if it's false though add add item to slot uh, this will be tomorrow though but uh, we can actually test it out but first things first uh let's change the stats so it's a little bit neater so the weight will be 10 so if you play Oh, we, we didn't actually, uh, we have to go to interact and plug in at uh, this one. Yeah. So now if you play, if you pick this up, add item, and if you pick this up, okay, we can, hey. So in the main player, right, change the interaction to uh, interaction without dev, uh, so it's like this. And let's delete the increase item stats because I now uh we will actually remake it because it's kind of ass so if you play take this you can see we can actually add the item to our inventory so bam but if we go back and add a function called let's take the inventory right set array element index will be the selected slot and the item will be an input of the add item to inventory function so item to add bam so if we plug this in right now it will have this one just plug this into here into the st item info and if we play select this one but if we select this one item is in the slot so it's still so it basically says the item is already in the slot uh, so if we select the first slot add item to slot item is in the slot so as you can see uh, the is validation works perfectly fine basically that will be it for today it's been a long ass video but yeah if you're joined i will see you next video bye bye